how did you early in your career, um, the intensity of what it is to have your career, know your value or learn how to know your value? It was definitely a learned process. Um, you know, I started skiing when I was two and a half and racing when I was seven, so I uh, definitely really know what I was doing or, you know, how strong I had to be, but you know, there's definitely a lot of people telling me I couldn't, I couldn't succeed, and I was never going to succeed my my whole career. But I think, you know, in sports especially, it's a good place to find your confidence. Yeah. You know, you realize your worth, and you realize what you're capable of doing. And I think physical strength gives you a lot of mental strength as well. So part of that confidence is just doing, right? So you sort of tangible confidence that you can rely on because you're actually following through with something. Did you have any sort of mentors that gave you great career advice um, at the beginning of your career? Well, I met my childhood idol, Peekaboo Street, when I was nine years old. So she definitely inspired me to want to be an Olympian. But, you know, the reality is I, I realized very quickly that hard work was, there was no substitute for that. And I kind of thought I was going to get away with, you know, just, just skiing. But, you know, you, you, you have to be able to bring a certain amount of dedication and work ethic and without that you're never gonna make it and and just like you said you know sticking through sticking with something and and having that that feeling of accomplishment even just setting small goals like going to the gym and you know doing 30 minutes on the bike you know those small things throughout my whole career have really given me confidence what's your advice for women who are just learning to advocate for themselves that need that extra boost of confidence what would you say to them Keep it simple and start small. You know, you really need to set goals that you can accomplish. You know, if you, if you say, I'm going to go to the gym six days a week, yeah. that's not going to happen. You know, start small, really build into it, and enjoy it. You know, yeah. find things that give you pleasure, um, but know that, you know, set a time that you can actually achieve. And that way you'll, you'll have, have more confidence and you'll feel good about accomplishing something. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.